So I put on these HVLRC long hammer antennas. I don't really think they made much difference on the transmit side, um, but I do like their form factor because they're a longer antenna. It gets a little higher away from the GPS receiver, which is right here. But what made a huge difference is these true RC, the X2 patch antennas. So I've got, there's a video someone put out from Asia on how to modify your VRX. And they had links to some 3D prints. I'll, I'll put a link down to that guy's video. Um, but this, this made a huge difference. Um, I still have certain places when I get out on those peaks that the video starts to drop out, but it doesn't completely drop out. So pretty happy with this. So today I'm flying out with these new antennas and my goal was to see if I could get to four miles. Um, it's, it's been quite windy pretty much the last three weeks. Um, and that's kind of normal for summertime out here in the mountains. Um, we start getting these uh, westerly winds that come off the peaks of the mountain range. And uh, so, as you see there, the, the wind is like around, it's, it's estimating around 12, 13 miles per hour. But I was just so anxious to get out there and just test out these new antennas that I decided to get up there anyways. And um, my goal is to get over to, uh, there's kind of three peaks, um, three main peaks onto the south of my backyard here. And I've been regularly reaching the first peak, which I'm aimed at right now. And that's pretty much exactly three miles, a little over three miles away. But if you go two more peaks to the left, that is actually another mile away. That's four miles. So my goal is that reach that uh, third peak to the left. Um, so we'll see how it goes. I mean, I did. So you see here I'm dropping bit rate, like dropping down there it went like all the way to zero briefly, but that's because I was turning. So I'm like realizing that the orientation of my antennas there make a huge difference. But when it, it pretty much was holding 14 megabits per second um, at this point, and this is over three miles, so 3.02 miles. Yeah, there's exactly three miles. And um, so I decided to go ahead and keep pushing it. Um, so I turned back toward the second peak. Um, hopefully I can make it over to this third peak. And you can see uh, there on the left is my, uh, I have my ELRS, my control link is ELRS and I have it on dynamic power. And I haven't had any issues at all with the dyna dynamic power. I had one guy comment that man, just leave it at a thousand, but it's kind of nice being able to see how it bumps the power up and down to see how, uh, where, how strong that signal is on. This is just 2.4 gigahertz and it's bouncing around 250 milliwatts up to a thousand. But then right next to it is a link quality. It's the second, um, stat in. And link quality pretty much stay. I don't think I've ever seen it drop below 80. And I have a, on my Edge TX, I'll have it scream out to me if I drop below, I think, 80 at this point. Because that, that has been rock solid. But you can see it's, it'll jump up to a thousand, you know, one amp, thousand milli, uh, sorry, milliwatts. Thousand milliwatts is one watt. Um, but anyway, here, so I'm turning over toward, I gain a little more altitude here, which helped with the video signal. My bit rate's back to holding, um, most of the time holding 14 megabits per second. 
And here I throw it into loiter because I see it drop down. It's kind of bouncing between seven and 14. So I wanted to make sure it was gonna hold it. <laughs> so here I am loiter loitering kind of between those two peaks, uh, the second and third peak. There's peak one and two um, in the valley below. So I'm right here, just over three and a half miles, which is pretty fantastic. <laughs> then the bit rate, see there, the bit rate's holding back at 14. It's when the tops of my antennas, obviously, that's kind of the worst on the Omnis. Um, when the top of the antenna is pointing either up or down from my home base, where the bit rate's the worst, which is not surprising, that's kind of expected. Um, yeah, and again, the, the wind is, so the wind is to my right here. Um, it was it was pretty gusty, bouncing me around, so it was kind of nice to throw it into cruise mode there for a little bit. But yeah, I've never been out to here before and being able to see over this ridge line to that Forest Service road down there. So I'm about to reach getting really close to four miles and I'm holding 14 megabits a second on my my walk snail link. Um, there you see my ELRS jumping between 500 and 1,000 milliwatts, but the link quality and drop my OSD briefly there because the walk snail wrote out the file, <laughs> started a new file, so I lost a little bit of the OSD getting it back in sync here. But yeah, there I hit four over it was 4.04 miles from home and that that was pretty exciting and and holding you know i'm not holding 14 here but there it goes back to 14 as i come come back toward home base a little bit there so yeah i think i could push this even further but yeah i don't want to push my luck each time i go out i want to be um kind of pushing the envelope a little more and I'm out where I've never flown out here before, so this is kind of cool to come down this other um, intervening ridge line here. Um, and so I kind of I cut the OSD in my final product production here just to kind of enjoy the right there, enjoy a little bit of this view here that I hadn't seen before. Just kind of doing a um, descent here I was getting close to 50% on my battery as well so um, I know these batteries will go a lot further than um, I've been pushing them so far because I'm only I'm barely ever reaching 3,000 milliamp draw on a 5,000 milliamp pack so I'm being pretty gentle on them um, but yeah this was this was pretty fun this day um, just wish it wasn't quite as windy <laughs> and the last today and the day before the last three days it's actually let up a bit but see there it's still 17 mile per hour headwind so i cut forward here on kind of lining up on the um, irrigation canal that's uh, across the street like half a mile from my house and um, kind of hone in on that to make my um, final approach um, yeah, here you can see I was at 32% of my 5,000 milliamp capacity um, pack, but you see that's only like just under 3,000 milliamps, so it should be able to go um, further. If I change the, you know, these are supposed to be able to go down to three, three volts, but, uh, you know, when you're pushing amps through it of course that voltage sags so it's it's holding at three and a half volts there and that's where i have it to alarm at three and a half volts and then critical you know at, i think i have a critical at 3.2 or something like that because you know i don't want to be flying at 3.0 for sure because that that could damage the pack so yeah s12 13 not side wind from the left so my my landing here was not my best but i didn't want to do a go around with my battery pack at 30 percent 
So I'll get a little janky here trying to line up. And then the wind changes as soon as it hits those trees there. There's a bit of a swirl in the wind. <laughs> so I'm trying to get used to that still. But thanks for watching. Uh, that was a fun flight.